Hi, I hope that you are well. Thank you for joining me here today, where we are going to talk about our second book for June, Deep Fake by Sarah Darer Littman. It's YA Contemporary Mystery. Dara is starting her last year of high school. She's the top student in her school and most likely she'll be valedictorian. Dara spent the summer working at Camp Terabyte, which is a computer camp for kids. Will also worked at Camp Terabyte and he is second in line for valedictorian right behind Dara. As Will and Dara work together during the summer, they began to see a different side of one another, and they are now dating. But because they're numbers one and two for valedictorian, they've decided to keep their relationship secret so it doesn't add a level of weirdness. MJ is Will's best friend. She's the third possible person to be valedictorian. Will has never kept a secret from her, and he's not sure how she will take it when she finds out that Will is dating Dara. Everything is perfect. Until, rumor has it, a gossip site devoted to gossip about the high school hosts a video of Dara saying that Will cheated on his SATs. And although Dara denies ever saying that, no one believes her because it's on tape. So obviously she said it, right? An investigation into Will's test taking ensues and his future is in question. Did Dara really say that Will cheated on his SATs? And did Will cheat on his SATs? Who's lying and who's telling the truth? The story is told from the alternating perspectives of Will, Dara, and MJ, and interwoven with posts from Rumor Has It. When it comes to a resolution, the answer is more shocking than anyone realizes. What are some books to read for a similar experience? Let's take a look. Even If We Break by Marieka Nishkan. Five friends have been getting together to play a game for years, but lately they've grown apart. Three of them will be leaving for college soon, and they've decided to get together one last time for a weekend so they can play one final game and say goodbye to one another. Each of these friends has a secret. As the weekend progresses, it becomes apparent that their secrets aren't really secrets. They receive notes indicating that someone knows their secrets and that someone is determined to break them apart. One of Us is Next by Karen M. McManus. And this is the sequel to One of Us is Lying. Since Simon died, a bunch of other gossip apps have appeared at Bayview, but none has been able to fill the gossip void in the way that Simon did until now. The latest incarnation is not an app though. It's a game of truth or dare. Phoebe is the first target. Maeve is next, followed by Knox. By the time Knox is tagged, things have gotten dangerous and the dares have turned deadly. Someone is determined to keep Simon's legacy alive and this time there's a whole new set of rules. And then there were none by Agatha Christie, in which the characters are invited to an island by a mysterious host. The host is not who the guests thought. In fact, no one knows this person. Each of the 10 characters has a secret in their past. It soon becomes apparent that whoever invited them wants them to pay for their past misdeeds. It's a race against time to discover who is behind it all or face the fact that they may never escape. Last is Influence by Lilia Buckingham and Sarah Shepard. And this book shares two things with our main book today. There's a mystery to be solved and 
there's philosophizing about the dark side of social media. This story, like Deepfake, and even if we break, is told from the perspectives of multiple characters in the story. Influence is told from the perspectives of three social media content creators and the transcripts of the videos of a fourth content creator. One of the three, Delilah, is new to social media. Her heroic act was caught on video and has gone viral. Because of this, she is invited to a gathering of content creators where she's befriended by Jasmine and Fiona who are guiding Delilah in her choices. But Jasmine and Fiona have issues of their own. They each want their content to reflect who they really are. Others think that that will end in disaster. At the gratitude prom, it all reaches a crisis. Can they work together to extricate themselves from the mess? Or will they be facing consequences? And there we have it. I'll be back again when we'll talk about the book, The Code for Heartbreak and Love by Jillian Cantor. Until then, I hope that you enjoy whatever you read and thank you.